form controls, bit of a legacy control I feel, but brilliant for quite a lot of uh, ways because it's still very easy to set up and it just gives this more professional appearance if you're just using a selector drop down for example it's very obviously a drop down whereas data validation maybe not so much now what this does is it outputs a number which is the number from the list that you've just picked now i'll show you some of the things you can do with a form control so what this is very good for is a driving out reports so this is how you add one you go to the developer tab very quick way of adding a developer tab if you don't have it, it tends to be switched off by default up on the quick access toolbar drop down more commands go to customize ribbon and straight away you should see it here and you can tick that box and hit ok so i'm going to insert this form control here, which is combo box. Now you can draw it freehand, but what I like to do is if you click on the Alt button and as you drag it around, it'll snap to the edges of the cells. Right, you right click on it and you do format control and your input range, you can pick that. Uh, and your cell link, right, is where you want the output of the choice so I'm just going to put it here for the moment and hit OK so now when I click on this I've got my list and it tells me the number that I've picked from the list sometimes that's great actually because it's quite easy to deal with numbers in Excel so if you want anything where you're going to be doing calculations based off of this that can be really useful but if you're trying to run, say, something that requires uh, the lookup, not so useful. One thing that is great and I do like about these form controls is they're so quick and simple to, to set up there. And they kind of look the business. You know, on here, this is an ActiveX control, for example. But this one, I feel, you know, it's just nice and simple. You can even assign a macro to it. Only one mind. Um, which will let you basically control uh, like a macro from the item that's picked so you'd be able to detect what's been picked by like looking at that cell for example next to it and run all kinds of things in your spreadsheet so it's a great little halfway towards an ActiveX control I think it looks that looks the business it's really simple to set up and you've and you've got the ability to use a macro I use these a lot I find them very very useful now how do you get around the fact that it outputs this number what if you want it to the actual item that's been picked because there's nothing in that cell underneath if i click on that and drag it around you can see it's not actually it's not outputting anything into its position it can be you can put this anywhere and you can size it in any way too which is kind of useful right well what you're going to need to do is put some kind of formula underneath or anywhere really which uses that number to pick to find from the list so I'm going to use the offset formula. Oops, don't want double equals at the beginning of it. We're saying that we want the top of the list. Just fix that with F4. How many rows down do we want? Or well, the number from the list. And it's as simple as that. Columns, we don't want to offset at all. So we put zero. And there we go. So now whatever we pick on here will be replicated in that cell. You can now use that in, in lookups and things like that. Quite simple. What you can't do with this control though, if you look at the format control, yes, you can put some kind of 3D shading on it, um, you know, and text. You can't have it move in size with cells, right? But, but you can have it kind of moving and things. You can lock its aspect ratio, but, but there's not many, and you can change the number of drop down rows, right? But but generally speaking, there's not that much in the way of controls. I'll just click on 3D shading and you can see it sort of like drops into your spreadsheet a bit. Can look kind of nice. Form controls. I actually think brilliant and sort of dashboards and running little sort of, um, you know, charts and things like that, that you want us to be able to select sort of different types of chart. Great little compromise there. You can run sort of VLOOKUPs, some ifs, 
index matches, all, all manner of formulas off of the result of that to create different reports and they're very simple to set up and very easy to configure. Hope that was useful. You know, good luck building your spreadsheets with the drop down lists.